Should Lady Louise be given a new title? Lady Louise is the only only one of Queen Elizabeth II's great-grandchildren to use the surname Mountbatten Windsor. Lady Louise was the only member of her family not to see her royal title change after her father Prince Edward was conferred as the Duke of Edinburgh on Friday. Should she be given a new title? Buckingham Palace announced that his wife Sophie will now be known as the Duchess of Edinburgh. Buckingham Palace said in a statement. His Majesty the King has been pleased to confer the Dukedom of Edinburgh upon Prince Edward on the occasion of HRH's 59th birthday today. The title will be held for HRH's lifetime. The Dukedom was last created for Prince Philip in 1947, upon his marriage to Princess Elizabeth, who held the title of Duchess of Edinburgh, before acceding to the throne in 1952. The new Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh are proud to continue Prince Philip's legacy of promoting opportunities for young people of all backgrounds to reach their full potential. Royal tradition means that the couple's 15-year-old son James is now known as the Earl of Wessex, yet 19-year-old Louise missed out on becoming the Countess of Wessex. The succession to the Crown Act 2013, meaning brothers no longer take precedence over their older sisters, does not stand for them as they were born before it came into effect. Edward and Sophie chose to style their children as the son and daughter of an earl, rather than as prince and princess, which they were entitled to at birth. Sophie discussed her children's titles with the Times in 2020 and explained. We try to bring them up with the understanding they are very likely to have to work for a living. Hence we made the decision not to use H. King Charles faces questions on coronation as anti-monarchist stage noisy protest today. King Charles has been warned that anti-monarchy protests will erupt outside Westminster Abbey this afternoon, where he will be trying to bring Commonwealth countries together. About 30 anti-monarchy activists are expected to stage protests outside Westminster Abbey, holding placards and shouting at King Charles as he delivers his Commonwealth Day message. Graham Smith of the anti-monarchy group Republic will be leading the group and said he plans to shout questions to the monarch at the pointless parade over the need to hold a multi-million pound coronation during the cost of living crisis. Instead of a coronation, the anti-monarchy activist told Express.co.uk Britain should be holding a public debate on the future of the monarchy. Discussing Republic's protests, Mr. Smith told this website. There will be noise. And I will be loudly shouting with a mick at Charles asking him questions and say to him, why don't you come and talk to us and answer those questions, and why don't you agree to a live debate? We're going to be right outside the entrance of Westminster Abbey. There will be at least 30 of us with plan carts. King Charles will be aiming to unite the 54 Commonwealth countries and their 2.5 billion citizens today, as some nations have already hinted at referendums and constitutional reforms to ditch the monarchy. Since Barbados became a republic in 2021, several other Caribbean nations, including Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, the Bahamas, Grenada, and Jamaica, as well as Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, have made suggestions that they may hold referendums in the near future on leaving the British monarchy or on constitutional changes that would enable them to become republics.